Session 41, March 20, 1981. I am raw, I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. I have one question of logistics to start with. I know that it is a dumb question, but I have to ask it to be sure. There is a possibility that we may have to move from this location. Will this have any effect at all on our contact with Ra? Ra, this is not a foolish question. The location is meaningless, for are we not in the creation? However, the place of the working shall be either carefully adjusted by yourselves to be the appropriate vibratory level, or it shall be suggested the purification of the place be enacted and dedication made through meditation before initial working. This might entail such seemingly mundane chores as the cleansing or painting of surfaces which you may deem to be inappropriately marred. Question. I am familiar with the banishing ritual of the lesser pentagram. I was wondering if this ritual was of use in preparing a place for this type of working. Ra, this is correct. Question. In trying to build an understanding from the start, you might say, starting with intelligent infinity and getting to our present condition of being, I think that I should go back and investigate our sun, since it is the sub-logos that creates all that we experience in this particular planetary system. Will you give me a description of our sun? Ra, this is a query which is not easily answered in your language, for the sun has various aspects in relation to intelligent infinity, to intelligent energy and to each density of each planet, as you call these spheres. Moreover, these differences extend into the metaphysical or time-space part of your creation. In relationship to intelligent infinity, the sun body is, equally with all parts of the infinite creation, part of that infinity. In relation to the potentiated intelligent infinity, which makes use of intelligent energy, it is the offspring, shall we say, of the Logos for a much larger number of sub-Logi. The relationship is hierarchical in that the sub-Logos uses the intelligent energy in ways set forth by the Logos and uses its free will to co-create the, shall we say, full nuance of your densities as you experience them. In relationship to the densities, the sun body may physically, as you would say, be seen to be a large body of gaseous elements undergoing the process of fusion and radiating heat and light. Metaphysically, the sun achieves a meaning to fourth through seventh density, according to the growing abilities of entity in these densities, to grasp the living creation and co-entity, or other selves, nature of this sun body. Thus, by the sixth density, the sun may be visited and inhabited by those dwelling in time-space, and may even be partially created from moment to moment by the process of six density entities in their evolution. Question. In your last statement, did you mean that the six density entities are actually creating manifestations of the sun in their density? Could you explain what you meant by this? Ra, in this density, some entities whose means of reproduction is fusion may choose to perform this portion of experience as part of the beingness of the sun body. Thus, you may think of portions of the light that you receive as offsprings of the generative expression of six-density love. Question. Then could you say that six-density entities are using that mechanism to be more closely co-creators with the infinite creator? Ra. This is precisely correct as seen in the latter portions of sixth density, seeking the experience of the gateway density. Question. Thank you. What I want to do now is investigate, as the first density is formed, what happens and how energy centers are first formed in beings. Does it make any sense to ask you if the sun itself has a density, or is it all densities? Ra. The sub-logos is of the entire octave and is not that entity which experiences the learning teaching of entities such as yourselves. Question. I'm going to make a statement of my understanding and ask you to correct me. I intuitively see the first density being formed by an energy center which is a vortex. This vortex then causes these spinning motions that I have mentioned before of vibration, which is light, which then starts to condense into materials of the first density. Is this correct? Ra, this is correct as far as your reasoning has taken you. 
However, it is well to point out that the logos has the plan of all the densities of the octave in potential completion before entering the space-time continuum in first density. Thus, the energy centers exist before they are manifest. Question. Then what is the simplest being that is manifested? I am supposing that it might be a single cell or something like that. How does it function with respect to energy centers? Ra, the simplest manifest being is light, or what you may have called the photon. In relationship to energy centers, it may be seen to be the center or foundation of all articulated energy fields. Question. When first density is formed, we have fire, air, earth, and water. There is at some time the first movement or individuation of life into a portion of consciousness that is self-mobile. Could you describe the process of the creation of this and what type of energy center it has? Ra, the first or red ray density, though attracted towards growth, is not in the proper vibration for those conditions conducive to what you may call the spark of awareness. As the vibratory energies move from red to orange, the vibratory environment is such as to stimulate those chemical substances which lately have been inert to combine in such a fashion that love and light begin the function of growth. The supposition which you had earlier made concerning single-celled entities, such as the polymorphous dinoflagellate, is correct. The mechanism is one of the attraction of upward spiraling light. There is nothing random about this or any portion of evolution. Question. As I remember, the polymorphous dinoflagellate has an iron rather than a copper-based cell. Could you comment on that? Ra, this information is not central. The base of any metabolism, shall we say, is that which may be found in the chemical substance of the neighborhood of origin. Question. I was just commenting on this because it has the motion of our animal life with copper-based cells, yet it has the iron-based cell of plant life, indicating a transition from possibly plant to animal life. Am I wrong? My memory is a little fuzzy on this. Ra, it is not that you are incorrect, but that no conclusion should be drawn from such information. There are several different types of bases for conscious entities, not only upon this planetary sphere, but to a much greater extent in the forms found on planetary spheres of other sublogi. The chemical vehicle is that which most conveniently houses the consciousness. The function of consciousness is the item of interest rather than the chemical makeup of a physical vehicle. We have observed that those whom you call scientists have puzzled over the various differences and possible interrelationships of various stages, types, and conditions of life forms. This is not fruitful material, as it is which is of a moment's choice by your sublogos. Question. I didn't mean to waste time with that question, but you just happened to mention that particular single cell. Does this polymorphous dinoflagellate have an orange energy center? Ra, this is correct. Question. Is this energy center then on a very small scale related to the orange energy center in man? Ra, the true color is precisely the same. However, the consciousness of the second density beginnings is primitive and the use of orange ray limited to the expression of self, which may be seen to be movement and survival. In third density at this time, these clinging to orange ray have a much more complex system of distortions through which orange ray is manifested. This is somewhat complicated. We shall endeavor to simplify. The appropriate true color for third density is, as you have ascertained, yellow. However, the influence of the true color, green, acting upon yellow ray entities, have caused many entities to revert to the consideration of self rather than the stepping forward into consideration of other self or green ray. This may not be seen to be of a negatively polarized nature, as the negatively polarized entity is working very intensely with the deepest manifestation of yellow ray group energies, especially the manipulation of other self for service to self. Those reverting to orange ray, and we may add these are many upon your plane at this time, 
are those who feel the vibrations of true color green and therefore respond by rejecting governmental and societal activities as such and seek once more the self. However, not having developed the yellow ray properly so that it balances the personal vibratory rates of the entity, the entity then is faced with the task of further activation and balancing of the self in relation to the self, thus the orange ray manifestation at this space-time nexus. Thus, true color orange is that which is without difference. However, the manifestations of this or any ray may be seen to be most various depending upon the vibratory levels and balances of the mind-body or mind-body-spirit complexes which are expressing these energies. Question. Could you tell me the simplest and first entity to have both orange and yellow ray energy centers? Ra. Upon your planetary spheres, those having the first yellow ray experiences are those of animal and vegetable natures, which find the necessity for reproduction by bisexual techniques, or who find it necessary to depend in some way upon other selves for survival and growth. Question. And then what entity would be the simplest that would have red, orange, yellow, and green rays activated? Ra. This information has been covered in a previous session. To perhaps simplify your asking, each center may be seen to be activated potentially in third density, the late second density entities, having the capability, if efficient use is made of experience, of vibrating and activating the green ray energy center. The third density being having the potential for complete self-awareness, thus has the potential for the minimal activation of all energy centers. The fourth, fifth, and sixth densities are those refining the higher energy centers. The seventh density is a density of completion and the turning towards timelessness or foreverness. Question. Then would an animal in second density have all the energy centers in some way in its being, but just not activated? Ra, this is precisely correct. Question. Then the animal in second density is composed of light as are all things. What I am trying to get at is the relationship between the light that the various bodies of the animals are created of and the relationship of this to the energy centers which are active and the ones which are not active and how this is linked with the logos. It is a difficult question to ask. Can you give me some kind of answer? Ra, the answer is to redirect your thought processes from any mechanical view of evolution. The will of the Logos posits the potentials available to the evolving entity. The will of the entity as it evolves is the single measure of the rate and fastidiousness of the activation and balancing of the various energy centers. Question. Thank you. In this session from the day before yesterday, you mentioned variable speed of rotation or activity of energy centers. What did you mean by that? Ra. Each energy center has a wide range of rotational speed, or as you may see it more clearly in relation to color, brilliance. The more strongly the will of the entity concentrates upon and refines or purifies each energy center, the more brilliant or rotationally active each energy center will be. It is not necessary for the energy centers to be activated in order in the case of the self-aware entity. Thusly, entities may have extremely brilliant energy centers while being quite unbalanced in their violet ray aspect due to lack of attention paid to the totality of experience of the entity. The key to balance may then be seen in the unstudied, spontaneous, and honest response of entities toward experiences, thus using experience to the utmost then applying the balancing exercises and achieving the proper attitude for the most purified spectrum of energy center manifestation in violet ray. This is why the brilliance or rotational speed of the energy centers is not considered above the balanced aspect or violet ray manifestation of an entity in regarding harvestability. For those entities which are unbalanced, especially as to the primary rays, will not be capable of sustaining the impact of the love and light of intelligent infinity to the extent necessary for harvest. Question. Could you tell me the difference between space-time and time-space? Ra. Using your words, 
the difference is that between the visible and invisible, or the physical and the metaphysical. Using mathematical terms, as does the one you call Larson, the difference is that between S forward slash T and T forward slash S. Question. You mentioned in the last session the concept of fasting for removing unwanted thought forms. Can you expand on this process and explain a little bit more about how this works? Ra. This, as all healing techniques, must be used by a conscious being. That is, a being conscious that the ridding of excess and unwanted material from the body complex is the analogy to the ridding of mind or spirit of excess or unwanted material. Thus, the one discipline or denial of the unwanted portion as an appropriate part of the self is taken through the tree of mind down through the trunk to subconscious levels where the connection is made and thus the body, mind, and spirit, then in unison, express denial of the excess or unwanted spiritual or mental material as part of the entity. All then falls away and the entity, while understanding, if you will, and appreciating the nature of the rejected material as part of the greater self, nevertheless, through the action of the will, purifies and refines the mind-body-spirit complex, bringing into manifestation the desired mind complex or spirit complex attitude. Question. Then would this be like a conscious reprogramming of catalyst? For instance, for some entities, catalyst is programmed by the higher self to create experiences so that the entity can release itself from unwanted bias. Would this be analogous then to the entity consciously programming this release and using fasting as the method of communication to itself? Ra, this is not only correct, but may be taken further. The self, if conscious to a great enough extent of the workings of this catalyst and the techniques of programming, may through concentration of the will and the faculty of faith alone cause reprogramming without the analogy of the fasting, the diet, or other analogous body complex disciplines. Question. I have a book, Initiation, in which the woman describes initiation. Are you familiar with the contents of this book? This is correct. We scan your mind. Question. I have only read part of it, but I was wondering if the teachings in this book, with respect to balancing, were Ra's teachings. Ra. This is basically correct with distortions that may be seen when this material is collated with the material we have offered. Question. Why are the red, yellow, and blue energy centers called primary centers? I think from previous material I understand this. But there is some tracing of this primary colors back to intelligent infinity more profound than what you have given us. Ra, we cannot say what may seem profound to an entity. The red, yellow, and blue rays are primary because they signify activity of a primary nature. Red ray is the foundation orange ray, the movements toward yellow ray, which is the ray of self-awareness and interaction. Green ray is the movement through various experiences of energy exchange having to do with compassion and all-forgiving love to the primary blue ray, which is the first ray of radiation of self regardless of any action from another. The green ray entity is ineffectual in the face of blockage from other selves. The, bru the blue ray entity is a co-creator, this may perhaps simply be a restatement of previous activity, but if you consider the function of the Logos as representative of the infinite creator in effectuating the knowing of the creator by the creator, you may perhaps see the steps by which this may be accomplished. May we ask for one final question before we leave this working? Question. This may be too long a question for this working, but I will ask it, and if it is too long, we can continue at a later time. Could you tell me of the development of the social memory complex Ra from its first beginning and what catalyst it used to get to where it is now in activation of rays? Ra, this question does not demand a long answer. For we who experience the vibratory densities up that planetary sphere, which you call Venus, were fortunate in being able to move in harmony with the planetary vibrations, with the harmonious graduation to second to third and to fourth, and a greatly accelerated fourth density experience. We spent much time space, if you will, 
in fifth density balancing the intense compassion we had gained in fourth density. The graduation again was harmonious, and our social memory complex, which had become most firmly cemented in fourth density, remained of a very strong and helpful nature. Our sixth density work was also accelerated because of the harmony of our social memory complex, so that we were able to set out as members of the Confederation to even more swiftly approach graduation to seventh density. Our harmony, however, has been a grievous source of naivete as regards working with your planet. Is there a brief query before we leave this instrument? Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact? Ra, all is well. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai.